49 years ago on this spot, race relations in the city of Detroit erupted and shook the city's foundation forever. After a raid on a bar called a Blind Pig in this oldest and poorest part of town, crowds began to gather, and by mid-morning on July 22nd, 1967, the uprising escalated. 12th Street has been renamed and the landscape is different, but what have we learned from it? We said it couldn't happen, but it did, and the nation was shocked. The summer of 1967 saw dozens of uprisings in urban centers across the nation. Detroit's was the worst. I do hereby officially request the immediate deployment of federal troops into Michigan to assist state and local authorities in re-establishing law and order in the city of Detroit. 43 people were killed, most of them black. More than 1,000 other people were injured. 2,500 stores were looted or burned. Nearly 400 families lost their homes. It was just a burst of fire from the top of the building. Before the fires in Detroit were out, President Lyndon Johnson appointed an 11-member Special Advisory Commission on Civil Disorder, known as the Kerner Commission. That commission ultimately blamed the violent outbreaks on federal and state governments ignoring the plight of black residents, on white attitudes toward blacks, and on mainstream media for ignoring the problems and consistently presenting only the white point of view. The report's most quoted conclusion read, our nation is moving toward two societies, one black, one white, separate and unequal. This is a battle zone, these are troops, it's like war. Nearly five decades later, the Kerner Report is still considered one of the most insightful documents on race relations and remedies for discrimination to ever be published by the government. It became a best-selling paperback, yet it was largely ignored by President Johnson and Congress. By some measures, black residents in Detroit are in worse shape now than black residents were during the civil rights struggles in the 1960s. Nathaniel Jones served as an assistant counsel on the commission and believes the Kerner Report remains an important way forward. The answers are found in that document, and I think we need to uh, focus as much as we can people's attention on what the findings of that commission were, what the conditions were at the time it was uh, organized and created, and the uh, recommendations that it, that, that it came up with. Over the next year, the Detroit Journalism Cooperative and Detroit Public Television's One Detroit will take a look at the grievances of black America. We'll take a look at the hard numbers that tell us how life has changed for people of color since the civil rights movement of the 1960s. Thank you.